The death toll in last week's twin suicide bombings in Ankara has jumped to 106. Doctors say 89 people are still recovering from those blasts. Meanwhile, news Wednesday of the men police believe were behind the attack. CCTV's Mihal Baravid has the latest. Two men who local media say the police have identified as the suicide bombers responsible for Turkey's deadliest ever terror attack. One, Yunus Emre Alagos, is the brother of the man accused of killing 33 people during a bombing in Surge in July. The other, Omer Deniz Dündar. Both are believed to have ties to the Islamic State, and both were set to be on a police watch list of potential bombers. Turkish Prime Minister Ahmet Davutoglu had previously disclosed such a list of potential suicide bombers existed, but said no arrests could be made before any crimes were committed. This caused a stir within a public already angry over perceived lax security. Meanwhile, heads rolled in the wake of the attack. The chiefs of police, intelligence and security in Ankara all suspended. Following Saturday's attack, many Turkish citizens in Istanbul emphasize they do not feel safe at the moment. As citizens, we are afraid. I have become fearful of crowded places, so I'm avoiding such areas. If they take enough security measures, it would be great. That would make me happy. Protests against the terror attacks have taken place across the country, in cities including Istanbul, Ankara, Antalya, Mardin and Izmir. At times, police intervened to break up the demonstrations. Saturday's bombings targeted a peace rally demanding an end to the violence between Kurdish separatists and the government. Though the attack seems to have left the nation more polarized than ever, regional experts say such division is a common element of Turkish history. <laughs> The Turkish Republic is a continuation of an empire. In its 623 years, even the Ottoman Empire has endured volatile eras. So Turkish people are accustomed to volatility. Even though these are painful times, it will not shake the Turkish state. It may not shake the Turkish state, but it may shake the ruling government. Yet to be known how the twin bombings will impact parliamentary elections set for November 1st. Mikhail Vardavid, CCTV, Istanbul.